Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review the new crime drama Dusk for a Hitman. And this is from director Raymond St. Jean, and who co-wrote the screenplay with Martin Gerard. And this film focuses on the most feared hitman in Montreal in the late 1970s, Donald Lavoie, played by Eric Bruneau. And He's doing his dirty work and murking people left and right. And then his accomplices start coming for him and things get complicated when the government wants him to be an informant. And this complication spills into his personal life with his wife and his daughter and this whole entire dynamic. I think period-wise, I think the design, the costuming, the hair certainly and honestly i feel like they got some of these actors like right out of the 70s i think it does a fine job of really setting up that feel the costuming in particular looks very authentic i think this is a relatively well shot film too like it's nothing particularly flashy but i think jean francois lord who is the cinematographer on the film does a really fine job there's some good tension there's some good shocks. I wouldn't necessarily say suspense at times, but there are some moments. It, a lot of, like, shocking violence happens in this, and a lot of it's out of nowhere and at the hands of uh, Lavoie because he's just like, ha-bam! And it's just like, after a while, you're just like, is he just walking alone with one other person? I don't know about their chances. And... You build up that kind of sense of dread, too, and that works. He's a dangerous man, but I think what Bruno brings to the table makes this character interesting and has depth. We we somewhat empathize with him in terms of, like, his situation, but, like, he's still a hitman. He's a cold-blooded killer. He is trying to be a supportive dad and husband, and you have those complications, I think what's holding this film back a bit, besides, you know, some competent filmmaking, some good genre trappings and period trappings, is the fact that, like, this film narratively hits so many familiar beats. It's, it's not particularly interesting or engaging in a fresh kind of way. It's competently constructed, though. It hits the beats. There's some good emotional moments. There's very, there's a very much like a Miller's Crossing type moment as well between uh, Lavoie and his brother. And you have those kinds of moments in the film that stand out. Uh, I think it's th those kinds of moments and some of those shocking, like, kills that are really the things that stand out. But there's some real solid character work here as well. And obviously it's looking at the themes of consequences and how they come they how they come for you. And like is he going to, you know, tattle and he's gonna snitch? Is he gonna save himself so that, you know, he could see his daughter grow up? Or is he gonna be loyal? to this crew that's been there with him this whole time. It's definitely one of those kinds of films that, sure, you've seen these beats before, you're not going to be particularly shocked where the film goes, but it's competently made, it's well-structured, it's well-shot, it's well-acted. It has a lot of those elements that elevate it a little bit from just being your forgettable, yeah, by-the-numbers kind of crime drama and in the end, I think this has at least a little bit there. It's Canadian setting, it's French speech, all coming together, creating a bit more of a unique experience that delivers on some level, and especially if you're a fan of the genre of like crime thrillers and dramas, this will definitely check a lot of those boxes. But those are my thoughts on Dusk for a Hitman. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your... Wasteland Reviewer.